Mike, it's uh, James Steinhubel calling with TVU News. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Very well. Very well. We are um, we're a new online uh, television uh, channel or station here in Airdrie, and this is a news call today. So I was hoping to uh, collect it. I was hoping to record it if I could. Sure. So, uh, Mike, what's your last name? Nickel. Nickel. And um, how long you been uh, at uh, owning the uh, Speedy Collision there? Um, just coming up three years now. Coming up three years, excellent. And you live right in Airdrie? Yes. Excellent. So how have you found the uh, current situation um, that you're faced in as a, as a business person with uh, just all the changes that have been going on because of the pandemic and COVID? Like uh, present day or over the whole course of... Yeah, over the whole course. How have you found it? Uh, it's been challenging, for sure. Okay. Um, we, it started off, it was worse in March, April, May, June. We went from a staff of 10 to 3. Okay. And then now yeah. coming out the other end? And now uh, coming into the late summer, we've got back up to 10. Okay. Uh, so things were going well, but that's only because of the the hailstorm that we had in the area. Okay. How how have you found your interactions with uh, insurance companies and everything like that, with the flow of money and all that? Um, everything's been pretty good. Some of our vendors uh, have gone have taken uh, accounts away. Okay. So it's COD. Like okay. You got to pay up front, which is you know not easy to do at the best of times, right? Right, right, right. And how, 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 have, you, how have you found it with uh, staff? Have you taken advantage of any of the um, programs over the government, you know, lease programs and work share and all that? Yes. And, and, that I can. Okay, and that, that's working good for you? Like there's no there's no snags or anything? You're happy with that? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Excellent, excellent. And then with uh, the local community and how uh, Airdrie's been shopping local and, you know, how the uh, local Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development Department, have they reached out to you? Have people been coming in? Have they been supporting you? Yes, uh, the support's been great. I have no complaints about that. And it, Like I'm new, I'm fairly new to the city. Mm -hmm. I've been here just about 14 months myself, but uh, yeah, the the feeling of community here is uh, it blows my mind and I love it. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And uh, in your community engagement, are you, are you guys still active, you know, with, uh, you know, people are coming in looking for sponsorships and things like that. You're still rolling that way? Um, nope. We're not okay. doing any, any sponsorships or advertising at this time. Okay. Okay. I just feel uh, when we're taking, you know, Taking advantage of government programs, I don't feel it's right to, you know, spend that on advertising. Spend that on advertising or sponsorship. Go more to the people that are actually working in yeah. in your shop. Yeah. And um, anything anything that you'd like to uh, like to share with uh, with the community? Because I'm going to I'll produce this uh, tonight and get it in the stream for tomorrow. So um, that's a good question. Um, we we did something in the spring. Uh, we don't, we're not doing it anymore because uh, things have picked up, obviously. But I uh, reached out to our neighbor, our adjacent neighborhoods, and we were doing uh, detailing for first responders and healthcare workers in our community. Nice. We had good nothing else to do. <laughs> but just something okay. to do, uh, you know, lift some spirits or whatever in the neighborhood. And yeah. We did uh, over 40, 48 free details over the summer. <laughs> free details, that's awesome. Did you, did you take any pictures or uh, take any video of it? No. Um, okay. Somebody found out Airdrie Light came by, and I think they're going to run a story on it in, the, in their winter uh, edition. Okay, okay. But I didn't really, I just posted it in the community Facebook. I didn't advertise it or anything like that. Okay. Is there is there pictures there? Uh, or just, just, a, just co like ad copy or just words? So I'd, go, I'd, I'd go. I'd go look for it. Well, that's uh, that's fantastic. It's uh, it's been uh, James Steinhubel on TVU News here in Airdrie with Mike Nickel, owner of uh, Speedy Collision. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Is this Lashtopia? 
It is, yes. It's uh, James Stein who we're calling with TVU News. I was hoping hello. to hello. I was hoping to speak to someone uh, about your business and how you guys been doing in the pandemic, if I could. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm actually the owner. Okay. Um, yeah, but I do you're... have I do have my name's Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> yeah, and I have I do have a client that's going to be here in about five minutes. Oh, that's it's, good. Would that's it be good. possible if I call you back? We'll be done in five. Um, It'll be okay. Oh, Unless okay. you have to prep. Yeah. That what's your last What's your last name, Nicole? Davidson. D a v i d s e n. E n. And you're the owner of the business. How long you've been at Lashtopia? How long have you had your business? So, technically, technically, <laughs> um, I started it about five years ago. Nice. But um, but I actually had my grand opening on uh, in Airdrie on the 15th of February, and then we closed on the 3rd of March. Okay. So, so technically, I've had it for a while. However, it hasn't really been in business. Um, all year. <laughs> so what, what's your stat? What's your status now? Um, so we are open. Okay. Um, and we're just kind of working on. Uh, so I did. I hired some employees, and then we opened um, like October fifteenth ish. So we haven't been open for quite for that long, but we've been open for about a month. Nice. And uh, just kind of getting getting things kind of ready, or. Um, set up so that we don't have uh, any any problems or anything with the whole COVID situation. And how, how, would, how, how have you found the um, quite stringent requirements for, uh, you know, spas and salons? How, how, have, you, how have you done with that? Well, one of the things that I've noticed is that most of the things that we do require a mask anyway. Okay. So... So I don't, I don't really like the rules as in having to wear a mask all the time um, at all. But, uh, but when we're doing, let's say, a facial or if we're doing pedicures or something, um, we usually wear a mask regardless just so you don't have any dust in your face or anything like that. That's right, yeah. So certain, certain things um, have not bothered me, but mm -hmm. other things I've gotten, I've, it's, it's quite annoying. <laughs> How you know? Have you taken advantage of any of the government programs in regards to leases and work sharing? Um, I actually spoke to somebody the other day about um, some of the some of the uh, not grants. I can't remember what they are, but some of the um, things that Airdrie does for small businesses. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually in the process of filling out a couple of forms to um, get my name out there or any kind of help with funding. Um, nice. um, stuff like that. So I haven't, I haven't fully taken advantage of them yet, but I'm on, I'm working on it right now. And then in terms of that kind of, you know, government and representative supports, we're talking MPs, MLAs, city councilors, chamber of commerce, economic development. Have you had any interaction with any level of, uh, of that kind of, uh, uh, group? The, no, the only thing that I have taken advantage of was, the um, I guess it, for like the um, all of Canada, like the CERB. Okay. I took advantage of that, and then I did the. Um, I don't even know what the business thing would be called. The um, C. It was like the forty grand um, okay. thing that they did. Okay. But I haven't done anything that's like smaller, as in Alberta wide. Okay. Okay, good. And then what about what about your local government representat representatives like the uh, city councillors or the mayor or the MLAs or the MPs or Chamber of Commerce or Economic Development? Have you heard from any of them? I have not. Oh. No. The the only person that I have spoken to uh, yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before, um, and so she gave me some information on what to fill out and everything was, um, ooh, and I don't even know like where she fits in. Okay. But I believe she was from um, the city of Airdrie. Nice, that's good. That's but I'm good. not sure. So <laughs> how, how 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 have you found um, the community? You know, in this time, how have they treated you? Uh, really well, actually. Good. The community has been pretty good. Okay. And what about what about your what about your community engagement? Have Have you given back in any way? I haven't done too much, except for the fact that when um, they did the uh, or they did the eat, play, stay, Airdrie. Uh -huh. So I have been trying to participate in that and put a oh, lot of um, ads on Instagram and 
um, kind of do a bit of promoting for that also with the website and everything on it. That's so good. Now, in, anything anything that you would – I'm going I'm to produce it tonight, and I'll put it in the stream. So it's at like okay. – well, I'll, I'll send you an email, but it's tvu.ca slash um, actually uh, Rocky View because we, we kind of okay. branded, branded under the county. But any, anything that you'd like to say to the community? Um, oh, my. Like – in regards to like everything or anything, well, wherever you're at, whatever you want to say, come in. You got ten ten dollars off. I don't. You can say that. I don't care. I, you want to say. I would. Yeah, I would like to say that we we are open and and yeah, if if people want to come in and get a service done by us, if they, you know, um, mention anything that we can give them, um, yeah, like let's do, yeah, ten dollars off their service. Fantastic. That works for me. That's good. Absolutely. That's good. So it's, it's James Steinhubel on TVU News. We've had Nicole Davidson, owner of Lashtopia Spawn Boutique. Thank you, Nicole. How long have you been there at the WB? WB? I've been here for 10 years. 10 years. Excellent. And uh, do you live right in the community? Yes, I do. Wonderful. So how, how has your experience been with this uh, COVID pandemic from the beginning through what we went through to where you are now? Well, I would say it's kind of been, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's had its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Did you? At the, okay. at the start of it, obviously it was down, you know, everything was shut down and we had to lay some people off and then progressively brought them back into the June month. And then now it's, you know, it's been pretty good. Excellent. Have, have you guys taken advantage of any of the, like the lease uh, programs and the work share programs that the government's offered? No, we have not. Excellent. And uh, as, is your staff up to full staff again? That's correct. Yeah. And how, how are you finding your business volume? Uh, it's been really good, actually. We've had good. a lot of support from the community. We've been, around, you know, established for 40 years now as a business running. So we got quite a quite a good clientele. Excellent. And did you have to pivot at all or uh, rearrange anything to get it happening again? No, not at all. Okay. Excellent. And uh, what about your um, the local support, you know, coming from the Economic Development and Chamber of Commerce and, uh, and the community as a whole? Does anything stand out to you? Uh, just with our, with our customers, they've been very loyal, and I think they've been trying to support local business more than uh, some, of, you know, some of the corporate businesses I guess okay and then what about what about your uh, community sponsorships and everything like that are you still actively engaged with the sport sporting and the uh, cultural community in in uh, Airdrie yeah yeah we are we've donated uh, locally we're trying to donate locally more than kind of other ones I guess you could say good good and and what what uh, what what bright spot was there what uh, have, have any memory that you're going to carry with you that was just like you know that was good for you Tough question. Uh, I would say when we were, when everything was shut down, we had quite a few customers that, uh, you know, kind of supported us and brought in their fleets. You know, and since they were shut down too, they decided, you know, to invest in us and repair their vehicles while they were down and, and kind of keep us going as well. So that way when everything did come back on, they were ready to go. <laughs> that's good. That's uh, that's so good. Now, any I'm I'm going to put this in this. I'm going to produce it and put it in the stream, um, probably tonight or tomorrow morning. What okay. anything that anything that you'd like to say to the community? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess just uh, I I don't know. <laughs> There's so many things I could say, but I don't know if they're uh, you know. Um, politically well, keep, correct <laughs> well keep 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 your brand in mind and you know and, yeah. and the political correctness and there's got to be a few things that you could say to yeah i would people. say i just you know try and support local businesses and try and keep everybody afloat and stay together and stick you know stick to our local communities as much as we can without going to the the big names of you know amazon and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. No, that's good. That's good. We've been with uh, Brian LeMay at uh, W and B Automotive Repair. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. And what's your what's your e this interview's over? But what's your email? I'll get I'll get you a copy of it. Okay, uh, it's